So it's a customizable browser-based application. We try to make it look kind of like our customers' logos so we, we can modify the header. We have some basic control of some of the colors, but for the most part, we utilize their URLs or they create a URL so that their suppliers recognize the system as belonging to our client versus to us. There's 10 major features within the system. But in order to capture test data, we have to know what we want to test and what we expect the suppliers to provide test data for. So we have material specifications that are being captured either manually or electronically from our clients. And when we get those electronic COAs, the integrated statistics that are built into the system make it very easy for people that really are not even statistically inclined. We can do multi-tier traceability where we can actually track quality across multiple steps. It might be multiple suppliers, the flow of material, as well as the ingredients that go into those finished products from a quality standpoint. So we're capturing quality data as well as where it was used. Along came non-conformances. So we included the non-conformance management piece for suppliers, as well as things like production analysis. So we expanded that statistical analysis into looking at what's happening within the four walls. If you capture data electronically, you need to get value out of it. So the system's got a whole full suite of reports and alerts that come with it. Then the next thing that got expanded was starting to track regulatory data. And that's supplier audits, regulatory certification, regulatory compliance. So those are document management type activities. And finally, once we have all that information, now you can start to do scorecarding, rating and ranking suppliers, looking at how one supplier might perform better for the same material. The system has three different URLs. There's a URL for the admin interface, a URL for the supplier interface, and a URL for the plant interface. And each of these different interfaces support a different set of functionality within the system. The functionality is really kind of broken up into three areas. We've got inbound quality, that's the receiving event, writing non-conformances. We have the internal quality piece, which is tracking where product gets used. So this is where I'm starting to utilize the product. And then there's the outbound quality piece, which is basically the supplier piece. That's the final testing and creating the certificate of analysis and the ship notice that gets sent out to the customer. So we've got really a flow from left to right of ingredients coming in, something happening or transforming it and going out the other side. That can be stacked on top of each other. So as you're starting to use Alemica Quality, this may be one supplier on the left-hand side that's shipping a material that gets received, it gets transformed and shipped to another location. So this could be location to location type traceability, but it can also be within the same four walls. A little bit about connectivity. So I've talked a lot about this interaction back and forth and the system's designed that you can do it all manually, but we've created electronic message sets to handle all kinds of this data transfer. So really we're wanting to focus on test data collection analysis, the certificates of analysis. The ship notices are helpful too, the lab testing, the batch testing, the ingredient data. If you don't have data, you can't create value. Collecting that quality data then gives us the ability to add the value aspect of it, which is all derived from doing the analysis. So all the secondary functional areas are nice. It helps make the sale because those clients or prospects that don't have these types of functions automated, where they can start to still interact collaboratively and securely with suppliers and not have a bunch of standalone applications where suppliers have to have different logins and passwords.